Hello and welcome to Genyan Herbs. My name is Jennifer Nahon and I am an acupuncturist and herbalist. This channel is dedicated to teaching you how natural medicine works. In this video, we are going to dive into the specifics of herbs and demonstrate how they work. I often have people come into my office and tell me that they have read that a certain herb is going to be good for them, but when they tell me their signs and symptoms, the herb that they read about might actually make their problems worse. So why would that be? The answer is that herbal medicine does not work as a one-size-fits-all scenario. Rather, it categorizes herbs into different properties to get the right balance into a person. So what is the right balance? The right balance is actually a science of getting the right chemicals into a person for their particular needs. Of course, thousands of years ago, our ancestors didn't know there were chemicals in herbs per se. They just knew that if someone ran hot, they would need a specific herb to cool them down, or if someone ran cold, they would need another herb to warm them up. Little did they know that there is a science to all of this, as we are now finding out in modern times. With that said, let's get into three main properties talked about in natural medicine, which are herbs that run hot, herbs that run cold, and herbs that run neutral. Herbs that run hot are used to help people who run cold all of the time. For example, I have one patient who runs cold all of the time and she needs a sweater in the middle of summer. Since she feels cold, she is going to need herbs that have a hot or warming property to them to help regulate her temperature. Herbs that run cold are used for people who feel hot all of the time. An example of this are people who have hot flashes or like to wear shorts in the middle of winter. Therefore, since these people are overheated, they will need to be cooled down with more cooling herbs. Herbs that run neutral are used for those who feel normal temperature, meaning they don't feel hot or cold. In order to demonstrate the science behind this concept, let's get into some examples of herbs. The first herb that we will look at is peppermint. Peppermint is beneficial for the lungs and liver and is good for things like fever, headache, red eyes, sore throat, rashes, and all over feeling hot in the summertime with digestive issues. In herbal medicine, we often associate peppermint as a cooling herb, but why would that be? In order to see the science of that, let's take a look of the chemistry that makes up the peppermint leaf. Here are some of the chemicals found in peppermint. As you can see, peppermint has many chemicals in it, including volatile oils such as menthol, flavonoids, organic acids, and amino acids. It is the combination of these particular chemicals in this herb that give it the cooling property that many herbalists talk about. Therefore, if someone is running really hot and you give them peppermint tea, you can give them the chemicals that could potentially cool them down. On the opposite spectrum, if you give someone peppermint who runs cold, you are adding more cold with cooling chemicals to their system and could potentially make them worse. That is why there is no such thing as a one-size-fits-all concept, and each person should be diagnosed by their particular needs, as each person is chemically doing something different. Another cooling herb is lavender. Lavender is also used for the lungs and liver, and is made up of camphor, linalool, and other chemicals. The chemicals that are used to ward off moss and insects are camphor and cinnol. When ingested in the body, lavender may help as an antidepressant and help to calm the nerves. As a matter of fact, many blue or purplish flowers have cooling and nervine properties. So it makes sense that flowers that are the color blue or purplish in nature are calming to the nervous system. For example, the butterfly pea flower and vervain are also used for anxiety. Therefore, you can see that nature has given us this blueprint of knowing that blue or purple colors in herbs may give a calming and cooling effect. Now that we have seen what cold herbs are like, let's take a look at a warming herb and compare it to a cooling herb 
so you can see the difference. A very popular warming herb is a variety of turmeric called curcuma longa. This variety of turmeric is the one found on the market and considered a warm herb. It is also very moving due to the chemical curcumin that it contains. Here are the chemicals in this particular variety of turmeric and you can see that it has curcumin in it and several other chemicals. These other chemicals help the curcumin absorb better in the body, but also warm up the body more. I have actually had many people who run hot and take the curcuma longa variety of turmeric and it makes them hotter and does not make them feel well and they cannot understand why this does not make them feel good when they have read that this is supposed to be healthy for them. In comparison, there is a cooling variety of turmeric that many people do not know about called curcuma phaeocallis that also contains curcumin and many similar chemicals but has different concentrations and slightly different chemicals. There are different colors in between the two and you can see that the curcuma longa is yellow and the curcuma phaeocallis is duller in color. We will put up the difference between the concentration of chemicals of the two varieties. You can see that both varieties contain curcumin, which, again, is the chemical that gives movement in the body, but the curcuma longa variety gives movement with a chemical concentration that is suited for those who tend to run cold, and the curcuma phaeocallis has a chemical concentration that gives movement to the body while cooling you down and is better for those who run hot. This is a good example of the difference between hot and cold herbs and how important it is to get the right herbs for a person's specific signs and symptoms or you could make them feel worse. Just as a side note, we have used the cooling variety of turmeric on dogs and found that it works better for them because they tend to run hotter than humans so the curcuma phaeocallis variety cools them down. One other herb that is considered warming is cinnamon. Cinnamon contains cumarin, which may help with blood circulation throughout the body. Cinnamon also boasts other chemicals that assist the cumarin to absorb better and heat the body up. The warming property of this herb is mainly used for chest pain in those who tend to run cold. Now that we have looked at hot and cold herbs, there are herbs that are neutral that can benefit those who do not run hot or cold and are neutral in temperature. One great example is an herb that most people have not heard of in the Western culture, but is widely used in Eastern culture, and it is called poria. The chemicals of this herb help to drain dampness in the body and benefit digestion and reduce edema. Now that you have seen a side-by-side -side chemical comparison from three different categories of herbs, you can really see a difference between them. Herbs have different properties and are to be used to fit someone specifically for their particular needs. I am not a chemist and I do not know the particulars of each chemical, but I just put the chemicals of each herb up so that you can see there are differences in them and how these differences will help a specific person. It is easy to sell things as a one-size-fits-all concept, but it does not work that way. Each person has a different fingerprint, and each person has a different chemical blood print, and therefore, it is about a program that can balance the particular needs of an individual rather than one product. I often have people come to me and say that they are taking the best organic found supplement and think that just because it's organic or processed in a certain way that it is good for them. But if it does not contain the chemicals needed to balance their particular blood chemistry, then it won't do them any good. And now seeing that each herb has different properties and chemicals, you can see why. I also have a book that goes into depth and explains how natural medicine works and a short video as well. 
and I will put the links for those below. I also have a link below for the cooling variety of turmeric as the majority of turmeric on the market is the warming variety. We have many people also use this for their dogs and buy the tincture to put in their dog's water. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you want to learn more about natural medicine then hit that like and subscribe button and we'll see you soon. Have a healthy day.